Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to enable and disable Resource Governor in SQL Server. By default, Resource Governor is disabled when you install the SQL Server. So we're going to learn in this video how to enable and also how to disable a Resource Governor in SQL Server. We'll be using two ways to do it. One is using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and other is using T-SQL script. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's my SQL Server. I'm connected with SQL Server Management Studio and Tech, Bro uh, Tech Brother Client and SQL Mirror is my SQL Server uh, host and instance name. So in order to um, in order to find Resource Governor uh, using SQL Server Management Studio, you need to expand Management, and you will see right here Resource Governor. As you can see right here from the icon right here, there's a, a, a little red arrow. Uh, downward so that means that a SQL uh, resource governor is uh, disabled in order to enable uh, the resource governor you need to right click on the resource governor and you will get an, get an option right here enable so we're gonna go ahead and click on enable and as you can see that little arrow has gone so now your resource governor is enabled and you can go ahead and configure that and let's say that uh, at one point there are certain uh, times that you have to basically uh, disable your uh, resource governor so easy way to do it using SQL Server Management Studio right click again on resource governor and disable that so this is using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface now let's go ahead and do the same thing using SQL Server uh, using T-SQL script so I'm going to go ahead and load the T-SQL and right here is first script um, alter resource governor reconfigure that will enable the resource governor so let's go ahead and run that as you can see the command completed successfully if we refresh the management again we should see the resource governor right here the arrow is gone and it's enabled now in order to disable it using t-sql script we need to run this script alter resource governor disable you cannot uh, uh, basically uh, you know alter resource governor enable there's no such option in order to enable you need to run this particular um, t-sql so we're going to go ahead and disable using this t-sql script as you can see the command completed successfully let's go ahead and refresh the management again and see resource governor is disabled right here so basically this is how you uh, enable and disable resource governor in SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio uh, graphic user interface and using T-SQL script and I hope this video helps.